The African Union says if Morocco wants to rejoin the organization, it's ready to handle it according to the law, which requires members to vote on the matter. According to the AU Charter, Morocco has a right to be part of the AU, but it decided to leave 32 years ago, expressing concern over the handling of Western Sahara issue by the then Organization of African Unity. Al Gurum Chala joins me now live from Kigali for more on this. Uh, Gurum, is Morocco officially back into the fold or is there still work to be done? Good evening, Penina from Kigali, the Rwandan capital, where the 27th heads of state of the African Union is uh, taking place. As you have mentioned, uh, the question of uh, Morocco coming back to its membership of the African Union Commission is uh, has surfaced today and we have heard early in the morning the African Union Commission has discussed about the matter and they were also talking about how they can handle it if, of, if indeed Morocco comes forward and wants to return to its membership. The law says Article 29 of the Constitute Act of the African Union, the Charter, the principle of the African Union says any African uh, uh, member, um, African uh, country can be a member of the African Union. So Morocco's uh, situation will be dealt according to the law and uh, the heads of state will decide at the end of the day if the question indeed comes forward by Morocco. So yes, it's in the process. Right, so we understand Gurum, heads of state and governments have arrived there in Kigali ready for the summit. Who is in town? Well, heads of state, several of them are expected to arrive here in, the, in, in Kigali. Some of them have arrived. For example, uh, President of Zimbabwe, Robert Mugabe, uh, is here. We, we know uh, Chad's President Idris Deby, who is also the current chairperson of the African Union, is here. Uganda's Yuri Museveni is also in town. Others are expected to arrive uh, overnight because tomorrow morning, we are going to see the opening ceremony of the new partnership for Africa's development, NEPAD, that is uh, a head of state summit happening here in, in, in Rwanda. So, yes, leaders are arriving and we expect more overnight. All right, Gurum Chala, live for us there in Kigali. Many thanks, Gurum. Now, leaders at the ongoing African Union Summit have emphasized the need for a working strategy to handle the issue of migration in or from the continent. The leaders said African governments must see the demographic boom in Africa as part of its potential for growth. In contrast to many of their partners, African India will be the repository of youth. The Malthusian pessimists have to look into the future with the characteristics that future is likely to have, not the ones they are familiar with today. The demographic boom in Africa should be seen as part of its potential. African leaders should, nevertheless, be warned that the fate of Africans will depend on investments on human capital. There is no promised land anywhere without work and strategy.